Hi y'all, it's me, <laughs> Laura Burns. Um, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, here are your jazz hands. Extra long jazz hands today. Um, all right, we are gonna have a talk <laughs> about style logic. Um, have you seen my old style logic video that I did? Um, I don't know, old, whatever, the previous one, the only style logic video. So in December, I um, had decided to try this new, well, not new, but new to me, clothing subscription uh, service called Style Logic because I've been doing Dia, I've been doing Trunk Club, I've tried stick, Stitch Fix before, but I'm sized out of them really. Um, and I thought, hey, let's take a chance, let's try something new and see how it goes. And it went very poorly. <laughs> um, if you want like all the details on that, you can watch that video. Um, it's uh, in my like, you know, whatever, last month. Oh my God, I can't talk, you guys. I'm like, <laughs> I've been um, preparing to make this video and like thinking, what am I gonna say? Because I had so many opinions before about it. Um, so we're gonna see how this box is. I haven't actually like dug into past the tissue paper, but I do have the note. And so I do wanna read you the note and tell you what happened. I tried to cancel my box and the guy, the customer service guy I had emailed and the guy was like, um, hey, I'm really sorry that you had a bad experience. Um, what about we send you, you know, what about, you know, waive the styling fee, we'll send you a free box um, to check out and see if you have a better experience. And I didn't even want to say yes to that. I was like, oh, I just want to be done with this company. But then I thought, science, <laughs> let's see how it goes. Let's try it out. So I said yes. And um, this was like pretty soon after that original situation happened. So this is like mid-December. So this is now like... <clears throat> really a month ago um and so i got an email from this woman sarah who was to be my stylist i don't know if she was my stylist for the first box or they like assigned this to her but um so she sent me an email with all these questions about my style preferences now, they clearly want to get this right for me but also the process like really dragged on um, the box like never like didn't ship when I thought it was going to and then I she told me that they were waiting for some piece and she let me know that she had I had given her a link to my YouTube channel and then she let me know that she watched videos and decided that the box that she had selected for me I would not like and so I was like oh this does not bode well um, so she was redoing the box waiting for this one piece to come in anyway it took a really long time for the box to ship I did I'm pointing over here because it's over here I did get this box a few days ago, and yesterday I freaked out. I was like, oh my god, how long do I have <laughs> to try this box? Because if you saw my video last time, then you know their um, time to try things on was only three days, which is very short because life, uh, we, don't, we can't all just drop what we're doing when the box comes and try things on immediately. Um, I do, so I sent her an email yesterday saying like, hey, how long do I have to try this box on before I get charged for everything? And I haven't heard back from her, um, which is weird because she's generally really responsive and in fact, like, sent extra emails, like, have you gotten your box yet? And I was like, no, <laughs> I haven't gotten it yet. I'll let you know when I do. Um, so I appreciate it, like, she seems to care. Like, she wants me to have a good box and I appreciate that. And Sarah, if you watch this, I'm not trying to, I'm not like trying to be a jerk, I'm just like, trying to be honest, like very honest about this whole process. Um, anyway, so I haven't heard back from her, so I'm making this video today because I need to get this in the mail. Um, I think that they did change their policy. I seem to remember her saying in an email, which I need to go back and look, but I haven't, because I've been really busy this week, um, that they added maybe one or two extra days. So maybe their time period is the same as everyone else now which I think um, is necessary because three days is not enough time. Anyway, so I'm really blabbering a lot, but there's like a backstory to this video. <laughs> um, and I wanna read you this note because it is really nice and very um, clearly like, you know, tailored for me, which is something that I appreciate because 
a lot of the notes that come with these other like style boxes don't always feel like they're really like writing a note to me. Okay. Also, there are a lot of exclamation points, so I feel like Sarah's really listening. <laughs> Hi, Laura! Exclamation point. Thank you for choosing Style Logic as your personal styling service. My name is Sarah, and I am your personal stylist. I'm so sorry that your first set was such a disappointment to you. I hope this set meets your expectations. After reviewing your videos, I put together a look for you and chose three wrap style dresses for you to try on. So if they're all three wrap dresses, that's like, whatever. I'm going to reserve my judgment. I am, you know what? I'm coming into this with like the residual saltiness from that first box and I need to clear and be like open to loving this box. Um, but if they're all three wrap dresses, that's kind of boring. <laughs> like I wear things other than wrap dresses. You seem to have a fun personality and like styles that are trendy and fun. That is true. For your look, I thought you might really like these faux leather leggings. For the matching top, I selected a pleated sleeve blouse. It's a faux wrap style. Why, why is everything in this box a wrap? <sighs> okay. It's a faux wrap style and a bit shorter in length to wear with the faux leather pants. The first of three dresses I sent is a navy paisley wrap dress. The casual dress to throw on when running errands or meeting friends for lunch. The second dress I sent is a ske sketch, sketch floral, maybe stretch floral dress. Hmm. Uh, the bold floral print and the flirty style of this dress would look really lovely on you. Your third dress is a long sleeve wrap dress with belt, a bit more fitted in the skirt than the other two, a perfect dress to wear for a night out. As your personal stylist, I really appreciate any feedback that you may have so that I can gain a better understanding of your personal style. I hope you like the items I pick for you, but if you don't, include the item, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I look forward to building our stylogic relationship and helping you look as beautiful as you feel. XOXO, Sarah. Um, okay, so this is clearly a very personalized note, uh, which I appreciate. It does seem like there's a lot of wrap style items in here. Um, which I like, but it seems like every top that was sent is a wrap style. Okay. Um, so we're going to see. I'm going to stop yammering on. I'm going to try this shit on. We're going to see how it goes. And we're going to approach this with open and loving hearts. Because maybe this is all super awesome. And I'm going to be like, whoa, style logic. Uh, I like you. And I would also like to say... As I was reading this, I was just thinking in my head, um, you know, when I started Dia & Co, I didn't immediately love it. The first few boxes were kind of a struggle for me. I had to switch stylists. I had to give very detailed feedback. Um, and then they got better. So, you know what? Everything's going to be okay. I mean, everything's going to be okay anyway. It's just clothing. But, all right, I'm done talking. Let's get to the clothing. Okay. Um, I forgot to look at who this top was by. Is there a tag? I don't remember. I don't remember. I will put it on the screen. <laughs> so, um, this is like a balloon sleeve pleated elastic, but weirdly large sleeved V-neck empire waist non-stretch blouse. Um, I really like the fabric. Let me start off with good things. The fabric is beautiful. I love all of the colors in it. The print is gorgeous. I love a floral. Um, I love this like, um, it's like teal, but a little darker. I don't know what color is this. You know, usually I'm pretty good at describing colors, but I'm having trouble today. Anyway, it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, yes, fabric, great. Uh, I like the neckline. I like the fit of the bust. It feels really good. Um, the sleeves are too long and this elastic is too big so it's not like holding it at my wrist. You know what I mean? So if this opening were smaller, then it wouldn't fall down past my hand. But because the opening is so big, it falls down. Let me back up. Um, so yeah, I wonder if I pull... Okay, so what happens, 
if I put it up at my elbow. So that's a little better. That creates kind of a three-quarter length big sleeve. Now it looks like um, almost kimono sleeves. Okay, so that I enjoy much more. I think the drawback to this shirt for me is that it's non-stretch. And so while it fits me when I'm standing up, uh, when I sit down and my body expands, it's not going to be comfortable or it's just going to go whoop <laughs> because it doesn't expand to fit my body. Um, that being said, if I tucked this into a high waist, ooh, like I have a black um, stretchy ruched side pencil skirt that I got from a trunk club trunk, um, if I wore that, if I wore anything where I tucked it in, then I wouldn't have to worry about like pulling it down. I could let it be where it wants to be. And so it could be, you know, kind of high like that. So when I sat down, it would be okay. Um, so I won't be keeping this top, I'm pretty sure, just because of the fit issue and um, this, the sleeve and, and this situation. But it is very pretty. If you are somebody who doesn't have like as much like expansion in your belly when you sit down um, and you don't mind the sleeves, um, or if you have like a normal length of arm, these won't like go past your fingertips. <laughs> um, for me though, it's not great in terms of that. I mean, I guess I could go in and like shorten this elastic, but like, you know what? I don't want to have to alter every single gar garment and make it work. Okay. But the quality feels good. Um, the color is beautiful. I do like this, but it's not a hit. Now these pants on the other hand are not a good fit at all. So I have them like pulled up and like I had pulled them behind me to kind of tighten them. These are the um, faux leather leggings. So it's this shiny faux leather in front and in the back it's just like stretchy black ponte or I don't know something. But they're too big like look at this back. Can you see? Like they're not even this elastic is not stretched at all. So the size, these are from Romans and they sent them, she, she sent them to me in a size 34, 36, which is Romans 4X. But if you look at the measurements, it's like, like if you shop at Torrid, this will be helpful for you. So this is like a five or even a Torrid six because these are leggings. They're supposed to like, be stretchy like you put them on and then they fit tight to the body and there's just too much room they're too big so I, feel, I wish that um I think you know they just went based on oh it's a 4x but you have to look at the brand because a 4x in Romans is not like a 4x in Lane Bryant which is not like a 4x in Tori you know like look at the measurements anyway as somebody who has online shopped for a very long time I always look at the measurements um, anyway, sizing and fit aside, these are okay. I would never keep them because of the fabric. I'm already, like, it's cold in this room. Um, I think the thermostat in my house said that it was, like, 66 degrees in my house because um, it was cold overnight and I don't have the heat running. Um, but my legs are, like, almost sweating right now, and I've been in these for, like, five minutes Anyway, I'm just going to look in the mirror. If they fit well and the fabric were less hot, I don't know. It's not really my thing. I think other people, I see other people wear stuff like this and it looks great, but I don't know. It's not for me, I don't think. Um, like faux leather leggings. I'm more of like a mesh, like if you're going to have detail in your leggings, like mesh or cutouts or like a crazy pattern, but yeah. Anyway, this is, I mean, I will say this is a much closer alignment with my personal style than the first box. So like Sarah, doing a good job. I, I get why you pick these pieces for me. They're just not like perfect for me, but... I do like them, and I would encourage other people to check them out um, if you liked that kind of thing. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, so we're gonna. So this is not a wrap style top. I kind of wish it hadn't been described as that because it like made me like, why is everything a wrap? This is not a wrap at all. There's no wrap. It's just a V-neck. So 
I don't know if this company describes this as a wrap, but there's literally, there's no wrapping. <laughs> there's no wrapping. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and move on. Okay, I'm back. So for reference, that top that I had on last was from Leith, L-E-I-T-H, like Keith, but with an L, in a size 4X. Um, and I do get Leith items in my trunk club, trunk <laughs> shipments, um, and I do often like them. So that makes sense that I would like their, uh, the fabric and some of the details, um, but it also makes sense why it feels a little small here because leaf items run just a, like a tiny bit small. So their 4X I think is like 4X as a 26, not 4X as a 26, 28 or 4X as a 28. Does that make sense? I think it's definitely like 26, even sometimes bordering on a 24. Uh, and this dress is also from Leaf. <laughs> and this is another really good example of them running just a little small. Um, the cut of this is tight to the body, but it's not stretchy. So it makes it okay when I'm standing, but I just did a test sit and it was like uncomfortable. There's no stretch in here. So it just means when I sit and my body starts to expand, it just presses and it stresses the seams. It's not good for your clothing. Um, does this look familiar? I've gotten this exact dress before from a trunk club shipment <laughs> um, and I, you know, relatively liked it then and I relatively like it now. It's got the same puffy sleeves, these are a little smaller, and that same weirdly large elastic cuff. Um, so same thing, uh, but you know, could remedy it by doing this, which I will do now. There, that's a lot better, it doesn't bother me. And honestly, I don't really like long sleeve items in general, so I would probably do this regardless of whether the uh, sleeves were too long or not. So this is more of a wrap thing. So it's a faux wrap, it's a surplus neckline with this weird flap that is not connected at the waist. I don't know if you remember this, it's got a little belt uh, closure that you just can adjust, you can loosen it or make it tighter. So here's from the side, and here's where you can see that it's fitting me um, tightly on the bottom, because it's like my butt's out and popping. I don't think it looks bad, but it definitely is fitting tight to the body, and I don't think this dress was meant like to be a bodycon kind of dress. I think this is, you know, meant to skim the body. I do, however, think it looks okay here, um, but when I sit down, you know, like what I said. So this is a, you know, a pretty good job. I do like this dress. I won't keep it because of the fit issue. Um, I don't want to buy clothing that every time I sit down, I'm gonna be stressing the seams and potentially rip, ripping my garment. Um, but I do like this dress. I like this pattern. The material feels nice on, it's lightweight. Um, yeah, I like that you can adjust this front part if you like it like swoopier, I could loosen this or I can, tighten it all the way as it is now. I like the little thing that hangs down. Yeah, so I think this is a good dress. I 100% understand why she picked it for me, but just the fit issue. I'm a little bummed. There's a lot of fit issues so far with this box. Everything's like close, but not quite right. Like there's nothing of the three pieces that I've tried on that I would like really feel comfortable wearing. Um, so I'm hoping these last two dresses are going to fit me nicely. All right. Finally, something that fits me. <laughs> okay, so I'm really excited. This fits me and it's beautiful. I can sit down in it. It doesn't look crazy. Um, shocker, it's a black floral. <laughs> Y'all know I love a black floral. I, but I literally made a video that was like stepping away from black florals because um, I always gravitate towards them. I just love them, but I like have so many. Anyway, this is a gorgeous dress. It's from City Chic in their size 2XL, which is their 24, but City Chic sizes, um, depending on the silhouette, tend to run a little big. So therefore my size 4X body is fitting in this uh, 2X dress. So this is where, you know, like you have to look at the measurements because sizes like kind of mean nothing. So it's from City Chic. This is also not a wrap dress. It's a V-neck and it does have these like two ties that are in the front. Let me undo them. So it's just two pieces of material. Can you see this? Yeah. 
that are just tied in a little bit. And so there's extra material here, so it creates this draping effect when you tie it. I mean, I guess you could tie it in a bow. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I'll tie it back in just the knot that it was in. And then they hang down a little interest here, but it's not actually a wrap dress at all. It's got this empire waist. It does have a zipper on the side if you like that kind of thing. Um, the sleeves are too long, but it's more reasonable and also would be easy to hem because it's not, I could just turn it up and hem it. Um, so that's not too bad. And honestly, I would probably um, hem them up to like a short sleeve length um, just because I don't like sleeves. Because I live in Houston, Texas and it's hot here most of the time. Okay, so also I just think everything usually looks better when it doesn't have a full length sleeve, but that's just me. I don't know. I always feel so covered up. Um, anyway, so it's got a pretty flowy skirt here. It's not like a full circle by any means, but it does have a lining that is attached to the zipper. Um, so if you like having a lining, good. If you don't, like, if you're like me and you cut linings out, you're kind of screwed because it's attached to the zipper here. So you'd have to do a little extra work there. Um, but yeah, it moves nicely. It's a nice lightweight fabric. It feels like it would breathe. It doesn't make me feel hot. The fabric's gorgeous. Here's from the side and the back and the side. I'm going to come close so you can see. It's so pretty. Yes, this dress is a hit for sure. Definitely a win. Um, because it's city chic, it's probably 80 something dollars, I'm guessing, because that's how city chic stuff tends to run. Um, so keep that in mind if you like this. City chic can be a little expensive. Um, but the stuff that I've kept from City Chic from other boxes has held up really well. It's nice quality. So if you have the cash to spend on it, I think it is worth it. Um, but you can also catch their stuff on sale, like on their website. They do big sales all the time. So, you know. Um, okay, there's one more thing left. I'm feeling heartened. I like this dress very much. And let's see what the last thing is. All right. So here's the last item. It is a faux wrap dress. Well, it's not even, these wrap dresses, these wrap dresses are so weird. So it doesn't even have like the front panel. So it's a skater dress with an added swath of fabric that comes across and ties. Does that make sense? Can you see this? So if you take this away, it's just a skater dress, but then this comes over. So it's like, I guess, yeah, faux wrap. Um, it does have the surplus here, and it does have a snap here. I love that, keeping it closed. Um, what brand? Oh, gosh. Uh, I forgot to look. I'll have to tell you in a minute. <laughs> so um, it's navy and white. Um, like, what is this, paisley? Yeah, paisley with flowers. So it's a stretchy cotton. It's a very simple design. Um, short sleeve, which I love. Lots of movement. So I do like this. I like that um, it's not a black floral, even though I like them. But I have been trying to get things that are more earth tone, so navy and white fits into that. I don't own anything like this color scheme um, in my closet. I have a lot of skater dresses, which is basically what this is, um, ignoring this situation. Um, so I do have a lot of this silhouette, but you know, I do like this silhouette. It looks nice on my body. I feel very comfortable. So this thing is completely stretchy. So like this is very Laura Burns. Um, I could see myself reaching for this much more than the city chic dress not because I like it more, but just because it um, feels a little more casual. I think it fits into my like daily lifestyle a little better where I reach for things that are super comfortable, stretchy. I can wear them out. I can lounge in them. <laughs> and the city chic dress feels more like a, okay, 
I'm getting dressed to like go somewhere, you know, and I'm wearing, you know, it's like, this is an outfit instead of just like, here's what I'm wearing. To, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Am I insane? Um, so I like this depending on how much it costs, I would consider keeping it. Um, but I also like, I like it. I 100% don't need it. And I don't like love it. So you know what? Let's look at the prices because I also, as I've been saying in my videos, I'm really trying to get away from just keeping things because, you know, like, oh, I like it. Um, and I need to decide, like, do I like it? Would I reach for it? Would I wear it a lot and, like, really get use out of it? Or would it be just another thing that I like in the moment and put in my closet and then, like, maybe not ever wear? So hold on. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes since I told you to hold on. And um, I picked up my pricing list and then I was looking in the mirror and I was like, I don't know, I was like feeling myself in this dress. So I think I like it more than I thought I did. <laughs> um, yeah, and the more I look at it, the more I like it and I'm very comfortable. So keep that in mind. All right, so our pricing list. This dress is from, is it Eos? E-L-L-O-S. Elos? I think Eos makes more sense. I've seen this brand before on the internet and I know that it's not from America. So we're going to say Eos. Um, but also I could be wrong. Tell me in the comments. I'm sure you will. Laura Burns, you're wrong. Okay. Um, I didn't see the size. Uh, it's not written on here. So it is $39.90. So $40. Um, which for this dress feels like totally okay. And if I had spent the styling fee and could subtract it from there, Oh, it's a styling fee discount, but I didn't pay a styling fee. So I don't think that would come off of there. So the question is, would I pay $40 for this? All right, so then the City Chic, oh, it is Sketch Floral Dress, um, $89, told you. Leith Dress, the Black Floral, $69, which I think is an okay price for that dress. It's a nice dress. Um, if it just fit a little better through the bottom, I would keep it. Um, Leith pleated sleeve blouse, $69 also. So the blouse is the same price as the dress, which feels a little strange for me. Um, although there's a lot of detail work in the pleating, so maybe that's why. And then the Roman's faux leather leggings. Oh, they look great on the little model here. Oh my God, there we go. Yeah. I mean, they look great there. <laughs> $45.99. I think that's a bit much for those leggings. <sighs> Maybe if you like went on the Romans website and got them on sale and they fit you correctly. But also when I took them off, my legs were so hot. So hot. Okay. So the subtotal for everything is $312.89 minus the styling fee of $20 minus the 20% discount if you buy the whole thing. The total if you bought everything. 23031 30, for three dresses, a blouse, and a pair of leggings. Um, it's okay. Um, I think the city chic item, the city chic dress kind of, you know, inflated everything because their stuff is expensive. Um, I think I'm actually going to keep this dress because the more I wear it, the more I like it. I really did catch myself like in the mirror, like, okay, okay. Like I was feeling cute. It was making me feel some kind of a way. And it's not a black floral, <laughs> which is good. I can wear it um, with some of the new brown accessories that I have purchased. I have a new pair of brown shoes. I have that purse um, that I've been talking about lately. Um, yeah, but I could also wear it with my black things as well. So I think this is the winner. I'm gonna keep this dress. Now here's the big question. Will I purchase another Stylogic box? I think that I will um, because I gave Dia and Co a chance. I purchased a few boxes that I, you know, wasn't happy with and I kept with it and it turned out great. So I'm going to say no. I know I said, oh, I'll never get this box again. Um, but I think that my stylist did a good job. I think that she really did look at the things that I liked in my videos and made, you know, good choices. I understand why she picked every item in here. And I cannot say that for my early Dia & Co boxes. I can't say that even for my 
sometimes my current Dia Active boxes. I'm like, what is this? Um, so yeah, I think she did a great job. I get every piece in here. They may not have fit me or, you know, like been what I needed at the time, but I understand. So, um, yes, I will be getting a Stylogic box again. OMG, I'm always, you know, trying to be open. Um, and I was super negative in that last box, in that last video, because everything came together. You know, like, I hated the clothes. I had bad customer service. I didn't realize I only had three days. I was about to leave for a trip. It was just a storm, like the perfect storm of negativity. <sighs> So I am kind of glad that I had this opportunity to try it again, try to be more positive. Um, I know I was struggling at the beginning of this video, trying to be like positive and open. <laughs> um, but I think that it turned out good. I think the dresses redeemed, um, redeemed the box for me. The first two items were just so like the fit was not great, but the dresses all the way were great. I'm just like rambling and repeating myself. So I'm going to end this video. So I really want to hear your feedback. <laughs> Tell me in the comments, number one, are you surprised that I did another Stylogic box? What did you think of the box? If this were your box, what would you have kept? What would you have sent back? Do you agree that I should keep going with Stylogic? What else? Okay, just tell me all your thoughts on Stylogic, on this box, on the process, on moving forward with it. I'm very curious to hear because after last time it was so negative. <laughs> um, okay. Let's end this video, so I'll stop rambling at you. Um, thank you so much, if you're still watching, if you've made it to this point, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and for being part of this community, for being along for the ride with me as I try these new things out. Um, I really appreciate it, and I really love the community that we're building here, the comment section over in the Facebook group, um, those of you who came over to Instagram with me, all things, thank, I mean, just like, thank you so much for being here with me and like sharing this experience, which is such a weird thing to do, like talk to a camera and put it on the internet. Um, but I love it. <laughs> and um, I'm sending you lots of good vibes, love and support your direction. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.